Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to outline an image using GIMP 2.10. Okay so on my desktop I've got this folder and inside this folder I've got one picture which I downloaded from Unsplash. I'll put a link to that same image in the YouTube description. Let's go ahead and open up GIMP software and we'll go to file new and I'm going to set it to 1920 by 1080 but I'm going to set it to portrait not landscape we'll select this option to set it to portrait let's click advanced and set it to 72 dpi here and fill with transparency we'll click the ok button now we can see our portrait landscape let's go ahead and open up this folder and drag and drop this picture into GIMP so the image is quite large so we're going to hold down the control key and zoom out so we can see the whole yellow box you can use the middle mouse button to pan the, pan the screen right the middle mouse button use the control key and the mouse wheel to zoom in and out and what we want to do is resize this image. So let's press Shift and S, or you can click the scale tool here, scale tool, but try and remember Shift and S. So we'll press Shift and S. And you want to set the opacity here. So you want to bring the opacity down so you can see the checkered box behind. So when you resize, you're not going to go too far. You want to go to about here. So something like around, around here should be pretty good, right? And we're going to drag it down so it covers the bottom of the canvas here. We'll click scale. When you click scale, it will always set it back to its original opacity. So this opacity tool here is only for when you're resizing so you can see the background. Uh, normally, I used to use this one over here, but this is actually a more useful tool. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is actually remove this pink sort of background. So let's hold down the control key. Let's click here, hold down the control key. We'll zoom in a little bit so we can see everything a bit more clearer and we're going to go to the magic wand tool can you see the background is quite a consistent color it's, it's got a, some sort of fade in it but what we'll do is set our feathering and our anti-alias on and we'll set the feathering to five pixels that's quite important the thickness of the edge will determine the size of this feathering right in terms of the outline around the picture so what we do is set it to five and i'm going to set my threshold to 11.7 11 11.7 11 12 something around them sort of numbers we'll click on this top image and then click on the canvas inside of this sort of pinky sort of purple color and it will make a selection and we'll press Control and x and that will remove part of the content and we'll click up here and we'll press Control and x and that will remove some more and we'll click at the top here press Control and x and we'll just keep clicking and pressing Control and x as we go around this image right and wherever we can remove some content we'll remove it so this looks pretty good but there's going to be a few artifacts in there so what we'll do is click on the move tool go to select and go to none here okay so in order to see the artifacts we need to create a background color here so let's click on this background at the bottom here and we're going to fill it with a black color so click on the top swatch click on this top one here move your mouse to the bottom left or bottom right and let's click ok then go to the paint bucket tool left click here and select paint bucket if you can't see that let's click on the background and fill the background now you can kind of see some of the few artifacts like down here where we have to just do a little bit of cleaning up so let's go to the paint uh, the um, uh, the uh, eraser tool here and we'll click on that top image and we'll just go across the top here and just erase out some of these artifacts we need to hold down the control key and we don't want to go over this sort of line that we've created right so we have to be a little bit careful here I'm just going to erase some of this content um, but we're going to try and retain this line around the edge here so I'm going to do this pretty quick but you should really spend a bit more time doing this a bit more cleaner if you can um, try and get that line thickness to be roughly the same around here <clears throat> and just remove any of this these sort of uh, pixels that we don't really want to see right we don't want to see any of this so this line is pretty good down here we'll just clean it up like this there's not much to clean up that looks pretty good that should be okay because when we zoom out it's not too bad but i think we can maybe make this side a little bit thinner right just try and make it a little bit thinner here so it's kind of the same thickness as this line down here so undo that bit I think that's pretty good just go around the edge in here just to make sure there's no artifacts and you've got sort of a nice little outline now right you can see how we've outlined it quite quickly using the feather tool so that's an example of uh, creating this outline quite quickly in GIMP okay so let's go ahead and click on the move tool and um, what we want to do is replicate this image a few times so let's click on the image and there's a there's the duplicate button here so we're going to duplicate it quite a few times you can do it as many times as you want but we always want to retain one original copy uh, but let's hide all of these other ones. We'll leave like two copies active. Let's click on this top one I'm going to go to color. I'm going to go to the uh, levels 
and inside the levels I'm going to drag the, the, the black level here I'm going to drag it across you can kind of get a different style and different design here now right so as you bring this black level down you can bring it right down and you just be left with the outline just the outline on its own or you can bring it up a little bit somewhere around here so you can experiment with this tool here to just get an outline just the outline on its own or you can sort of bring it to around this sort of position you get this nice sort of green and blue effect here right or red and blue let's click ok and we can click on that top layer and go to the normal here the um let's just click here the mode and we can set it to something like overlay and then that that will be overlaid on the image bit below so i can turn this one on and off uh, turn the top one on and off and you can see the difference right you see how this is all being blacked set the silhouette down here is all blacked out the, the jumper and stuff this is quite a nice effect that you can apply quite quickly okay let's go ahead and click on this third layer this one here let's drag that to the very top and let's enable it so we can see the image here right this top one let's go to our color let's go to hue and saturation so we'll go to color up here and then hue and saturation here and we'll drag the hue across here i want to set it to let's see or maybe we'll drag it this side let's set it to like a almost like a pinky sort of purple color right this sort of color we'll click ok then we can click on the mode again and go to overlay where's our overlay down here overlay now we've got a different style so if we were to hide that you can see the effect it's applying right so we're just layering up our layers and we're experimenting um, with these colors and we've still got our outline we've maintained our outline here and what you can do now is um, you can enable and disable this middle layer and then you can enable and disable the top one you can see what effect is applied there right and uh, this is like a different style and then you can enable the top one or disable it so you can go and experiment with this i'm just trying to show you some different ways of making something more creative right you've got your outline which we've done quite quickly but it's nice to manipulate the image afterwards and see uh, what you can do with it after okay let's do one last thing let's click on the background here and we'll make a duplicate copy by clicking here we'll hide the bottom one and we'll click on this top one Let's go to here, hold down the left mouse button, select gradient. And this top color, I'm going to select like a blue sort of color, not too light. And then for the background here, I'm going to select black color down here. And then in this options here, I'm going to set it to foreground background here, this one. And then I'm going to, let's see, let's just put that back there. Just grab the tool by accident, let's drag it back here. And uh, let's hold down the left mouse button and hold down the control key to constraint. And then we're going to put this blue faded background let's click on the move tool and we can click on this bottom layer we can see our final composition right so this is not the only way to outline an image there's many different ways to do it but this is one quick way that you can do it and i guess we had a little bit of fun by changing this picture we can hide these layers and then we can see you know which which one we like kind of like this one actually but uh, the original is pretty good as well you can experiment and if you leave it on the original the outline is going to be a bit thicker right I think if we um let's see if we turn on these other layers like the ones below this one here we can get even more of a thicker outline as well so if we turn that off and on you can see the outline will be a bit thicker as well so we can do that i think this looks pretty good let's go to file save as and we'll find that folder on my desktop let's go to my desktop and here's a project let's just call it outline dash zero one and let's go to file export as and we'll export it as a jpeg file let's click export and we'll compress it at 90 percent let's export it let's just go to file save and close down gimp so in this folder we now have the two different images we've got our original image here and then we've got this new version that we created using gimp with the outline so that's how i would do the outline if i wanted to just retain some sort of color that was originally in the background if you want to have a like maybe a white outline or a stronger outline or a different color you have to take a different approach but it wasn't just about creating the outline it's about making something creative as well in terms of uh you know the visuals and the graphics uh the, the coloring and stuff like that we did some experiment with that as well so let's go ahead and close these down that's the end of this tutorial and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial